Okay, I'm here in my backyard in North Carolina, and I have an interesting tree that I want to share with you. This tree right behind me is called the Eastern Red Cedar. It's got a really neat history, actually. You see, this tree was one of the first trees that was reported back by the new colonists back in the 1500s when they first discovered the Americas. And they called it the Eastern Red Cedar because they said it was the most amazing cedar they had ever seen. But turns out it's a juniper. It's not even a cedar. So also, check this out. I brought a little pencil as a prop. Back in the early 1900s and 1800s, this tree was what made all of the pencils in the entire world. This species and apple trees actually share a pathogen. They share a disease that will infect both tree species. So if you have an apple farm, this could serve as an intermediate host for a disease on your apples. If you look up at those small berries that are on the tree, birds will actually eat those berries. I mean, they're not extremely tasty, but they pass through the system of the bird. Oftentimes they're planted along fence rows. So one of the places you'll see these eastern red cedars the most is along fence rows. Now if you're looking for the red cedar in its native range, you'll actually probably see two different forms. Out west towards Kansas, it's a little shorter, it's more shrubby, and it kind of grows on the open plains. In the east it actually gets pretty tall, even though it's not a real tall tree. And um, it's more spindly and you know, maybe a tree like this. I'll walk back so you can get a little bit better perspective of it. It's, um, I don't know, probably 50 feet tall back behind me. And here in Charlotte, where we are right now, it grows all over. And I didn't realize until I identified the tree, now all I can see is eastern red cedars everywhere. Okay, that was a little bit long, but um, it's a neat tree. I hope you can identify some in your area.